Welcome to Business Connection. I'm Liz Spencer. We have a treat for you today in studio. We have Peter Carl. He's the owner of Paris Bistro, and alongside him is Andrew Holscher, the executive chef. So welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for having I us. I hope that people recognize Paris Bistro because it's a real gem on the south side of Naperville. It is. Peter, tell me a little bit about how it all got started. It started in 2013. It was started by my wife. <clears throat> She's been in the business for 20 years, you know, loves French food. Um, <clears throat> and, and believe it or not, Naperville had a little bit of a deficit in, as far as having a French, uh, French menu that was palpable for Americans as well. Not everybody wants to go and, uh, you know, <laughs> experience French. the full French. <laughs> So, you know, she opened it up, and then uh, we actually, you know, the first time I was here, I visited there with her when we were just dating, and uh, just fell in love with her probably at the Paris Bistro. So I have obviously great uh, warm feelings about the restaurant, and uh, it's been an amazing ride. You know, people have, uh, it's, it's unique. It's not a chain. It's a one-off. It's mm -hmm. something that you're going to see, and you won't see, you know, the decor, and everything that's been set up in such a special way, you won't find it anywhere else, and that includes the food. So it's been uh, going. We're in our fourth year now, and uh, as we we're talking about. We're very proud of the fact that in 2015 and then now again in 2016, we've been awarded the best places in Naperville. So uh, it's a very distinguished award and we're very uh, happy to win it two years in a row. And so it's been a great ride. That's awesome. Well, I'm not surprised about the recognition because it is delightful. Andrew, I've had the pleasure of, of dining and I'm always, I just love going there because I, I just feel as though it's a very unique Experience. I never know I could have something from duck or I could go to something as basic as burger. Tell me a little bit about your background. How did you get involved with all this? Well, um, I actually was working with uh, Peter at another restaurant that they had and um, just recently had joined the team over at Paris. So we're excited to do some new menus. Um, but the, the best thing about the food there is that it's all over the place. You know, you can have a fine dining dish or you can have a casual burger. You can have a crepe. So it's, it's really nice to offer different, um, different food for the, for the community. Well, I think it's nice, too, because it is French food, and we're not used to it, but people for, forget that French food is nice, solid, good food, and they think it's got to be something it's, else. It's hearty. It's, um, you know, there's a lot of great dishes that we just put on the menu. There's something called an escatoon, which is um, it's a warm polenta served with a short rib stew, which is really nice for this time of year. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to, to have some inviting, warm, warm dishes for sure. And, and, and do you change up the menu on a, on a regular basis? How we do try to do a fall, winter, and then okay. a spring, summer menu. Um, yeah, for sure. And, and who are your customers? Who's coming to Paris Bistro besides me? <laughs> oh, well, I, I mean, the, even in the time that uh, we've seen, it's it's all over the map. Mm -hmm. I mean, you Definitely. look at it, you can see our brunches are uh, are really becoming popular. <laughs> and you've got entire families who come out, families who come out after church maybe. Uh, the kids love it. And then you've got, it's a great date night place. Yes. I mean, I used to use it as a date night place before I was one of the owners. Nice uh, ladies night out place And as it's well. absolutely a ladies night out. But I mean, if you were to absolutely go in there and try to pinpoint one demographic, it just cuts across all lines. You know, you're going to see seniors in there. You're going to see, uh, you know, you're going to see some teenagers come in after seeing a movie at the mm -hmm. AMC movie theater right. and want some gelato. Right. For so sure. we love that. I mean, that is what uh, Irina and I wanted. That's the atmosphere that we wanted. We didn't want to cater to just one specific group because, I don't know, there's just something, uh, there's something amazing when your restaurant represents the demographics of the community you're in as well. So. Well, I think that's great. And you do have a little bit of something for everyone. You mentioned the gelato and, and the crepes. Let's talk a little bit about the crepes. So we do um, savory and sweet crepes. So we obviously, you know, have a, an amazing dessert crepe. But we also are doing a lot with the savory style as well. So we do some rotisserie chicken um, with some crepes. And we do a braised uh, beef short rib crepe. And so we kind of have fun and play on some old classics and, and put them inside crepes, which is great. And, that, and I'm sure appeals to, to more the adult, but though the adult like me loves the, the dessert, but it's, it's very opening as you walk into your store that you're able to see the dessert. And for me, I like to plan backwards because I like to have dessert when I'm out. So I like to know yeah. what my options are. Well, it's nice. It's a, it's a visual marketing. Mm -hmm. You know, you come in and you see the dessert case, you see the macaroons, you see the pastries. So you always save room at the end of the meal, which is nice. So it, it's um, it's small but intimate. Tell me a little bit about the atmosphere that you're trying to create there. That is a hundred percent my wife. Uh, you know, I may execute and maybe the one who has to. You know, I literally was with her and I went out and bought a truck the next day because she just. I mean, she. 
she has something in her mind, and then you just I have to go and kind of get it and execute it. And so she saw, uh, you know, she had in her mind a Parisian concept, you know, something right out of Europe, bringing a piece of Europe, bringing a piece of Paris here. And she was able to do that through a lot of the local stores that were here, whether consignment stores and different places. Obviously, you have to order online, but it really was her just going into the place, feeling the energy of the place, and seeing it in her mind's eye, and then just executing it. So that was all her, you know, to every degree, whether it's a paint color or murals or the glassware, everything else. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm a proud husband, so what can I say? <laughs> well, it does have a very nice, different atmosphere than you're going to find any place else in Naperville, which I think is nice because there's a lot of dining options. But this one, there's not another dining option like Paris Bistro, which I appreciate. For sure. Yeah. Uh, one of the things I think is really nice, Andrew, is that that your wine selection in, in craft beer, and now I hear there's cocktails? Yeah, we're going to be offering... Um, not a ton of cocktails, but we're okay, focusing one. focusing on <laughs> exactly <laughs> focusing on um, local businesses. So we're using some local distillers, which nice. is great. So we're not going to have this huge martini list, but we're going to offer some craft cocktails um, on, a, on a smaller format. But it's it's going to be pretty exciting. I think cocktails are very popular, so we like to start our meal with that. Um, but you also want to have the craft beer for that burger, and, and correct? Yeah, just in the wine is I'm I see many. Uh, lady nights out that is appreciated. Yeah, we do half bottle, wine. half price bottles of wine on Thursdays. Yes, so, that's so nice. that seems and that seems to be a very popular night For out. Sure. Tell me how you decide what's going to go on that menu. Well, based on seasonality, I mean, you know, in the in the winter, fall, winter time, we want some more, you know, braised meats, some more stews, some more stuff that's more warm and inviting. A um, little lighter fare in the spring and summer menus, but definitely focusing on seasonality, working with some local farmers, and and really catering to the season. And that's what's exciting about being able to stay creative and and have some great local growers and some great uh, purveyors that we can purchase from. I think it's a, I think it's great that you're d using local sources because I think that's very important to to you know consumers now is to make sure that we're as we go out and spend our hard earned dollars at a restaurant that we want to know that you are taking such care with all that food. Absolutely. Let Absolutely. me let me say this about yeah, the menu yeah. as well because one of our customers was dialoguing with me and it was a guy and he thanked me because he was <laughs> dragooned you know out on a ladies night. It was like <laughs> eight late ladies and one guy. <laughs> And he just said, you know, thank God for your burger. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because, right. so that's consistent. And mm -hmm. I just don't want, you know, some of your viewers who are men to feel like they'll be a lesser man because there are a lot of great things. It's ladies' night out, but there's actually uh, one of our mainstays. I don't think the burger is ever going off. I hope no, not. It's one no, of my favorites. No. Have you introduced the, is it the Royale with cheese? Yeah. And either you absolutely. get that reference, either your viewers get, get that, that reference right. or you or don't. Or you don't. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, for sure. We'll let them keep quiet to themselves and yeah, right. and a royal come in. with cheese that's yeah, nice. for sure so that's nice yeah well we wish you a lot of luck um, I'm sure many people will uh, come try you and and we think it's a wonderful location South Naperville right by the AMC so go out have dinner have a movie absolutely thank enjoy you. something just a little bit different I appreciate thank that thank you so much yeah, thank we'll you. be right back with more business connections stay tuned